Hey, this is Wester70 with tips and tricks for Haven and Hearth. Today we're going to do sort of a Let's Play uh, uh, segment, and we're going to go around to the different uh, structures and buildings that different players have made in my area, and take a look at what they've done, what kinds of things they've built, uh, where they're going with these things, uh, mine shafts, this kind of thing, so that everybody can get kind of an idea of what's uh, happening in the world. And it gives you some ideas about how to build your own place, uh, how to protect your place or not protect it, as the case may be. And so let's take a look at this and hope you enjoy it. If you do, press the like button at the end or subscribe. Thanks very much for watching, and here we go. Now here's a place I haven't found in the past. Uh, I'm curious what's going on here. It's a huge place. Oh, he's got a mine. Uh, he's got a huge area. Well, that's good to know. Um, He looks like he's got a ram in there, too. Mm, that's interesting. Let's take a look here. Let's see. Yeah, he's got a battering ram. Interesting. This guy could be dangerous. Or maybe he's just doing this to... to protect his property here. Interesting. He certainly knows how to build one. There's another little place over here. Let's see what they've got going down here. Got a claim. There he's making baskets. Or he's making hides. He's got a boat. Okay. Kind of looks like my place. But that would be a shocker if it was. Now here's a situation where you have a mine and a couple of houses. Let's see. It just has a claim around it. Well, it's nice to see there's as many mines as there are. Now, actually, what I'm doing here is I'm looking for windblown weeds. That's so we can get some crops growing. Now, here's an interesting looking place. Nicely done. You know, I may try to do chickens this year. He's got a ram in here. Oh, nice. Nice little outfit. Chicken coops the whole bit. Look at how nicely his palisade is built along the edge of the cliff. I'm not really quite sure you need to do that, but what do I know? I don't see a lot of crops and stuff. But it looks it looks like he had a looks like it's divided into little parcels. That's pretty cool. Looks like they also had a path going out. Let's see what this little sign says over here. I'm glad to see their wells not inside their place either. Let's see what this says. Carve your name. Well, that was interesting. Let's see what this looks like. Well, you got quite a nice place here. I don't see a lot of crops, though, so there are some. Hmm. Tim was here. Well, Tim, oh, yeah, there are a lot of crops here. Yeah, it's a pretty nice looking setup. Yeah, let's see what this little place looks like. Oh, he's got a nice little outfit going here. He's got a claim. He's, got, mm, he's really into the drying uh, hide thing. <laughs> so, the skull I found, it says main entrance, keys, skull and it's worth 10, whatever that is. So, that's kind of interesting. I have no idea what that means. I'm going to 
feather duster, a dandelion, and a ladybug. The feather duster is actually do more for me than almost anything else, although it's hard to find the chickens, which would be a good reason to grow them, of course. It's an easy thousand points every time, so I may actually have to do that. I have I didn't do chickens last time because I didn't want to uh, spend the effort on it, but this might be a good thing to do. Now here's something you don't see every day. This guy's got a mine hole going on. That's pretty cool. Oh, he's got a nice outfit going on here. Nice. Nice crops. He's got the whole thing going. Nice job. And a mine hole. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And his own chickens and stuff. Really nicely done. Everything looks set up nicely. Oh, good job. And as well as outside his place. He's my buddy. <laughs> and here's the little fella. He's not too far away from the other guy. Uh, looks like he's got some... Well, he doesn't have a claim. That's too bad for him. Here's some guy's first stuff. He's got two logs, a piece of bark, and a stick. And this, he's got an apple, two sticks, and a little cup. So he's doing all the right things. Good guy. <laughs> <laughs> Thus we start our lives in Haven and Hearth. There's some uh, sheep and such. seen those yet in the game. That's cool. Now here's a guy that uh, got quite a little basket industry going here. And let's see what he says. That's like probably a couple of guys here. I'm still new. Please don't rob my useless stuff. <laughs> They're doing pretty good. That's pretty funny. Uh, I know what I'll do. I'll give him some of these dandelions. Uh, he may not be able to... Uh, See what else do we want to give him? Uh, should we give that's kind of my Robin Hood good deed for the day. Except I guess that would mean I was robbing for myself. Hmm. Maybe not the message I want to send. <laughs> All right. And now we're coming up on another place. Slightly in disrepair. I just got a little claim. Uh, don't see much going on there. Yeah, here's an interesting place. Uh, it's Got a little hide industry going on. It's got some seeds going on. Yeah, it's got quite a few things going. Looking good. A veritable complex going on over here. Wow. Quite a bit of stuff going. Let's see what's in here. Okay, nothing's in here. Okay, here's a big old place. Already spent some time laying this puppy out. Not 
quite sure what the symbol means. I'm sure somebody will educate me, though. Oh, he's got a brick wall around his place. That's no mean feat, I would think, is putting a brick wall around a place this big. Yeah. Pretty nice, though. Alright, we just picked up a thorny thistle. Now, here's a nice big place over here. My goodness, look at this place. We got a palisades. Oh, individual plots. Interesting. This looks like the old village that I was in. I've got a corner. It kind of looks like it's in disrepair. I mean, some of this wall stuff looks like it needs uh, a little help. That gate's open. Interesting. Oh, I like the layout, actually. I find it interesting that some of the gates are open. You guys got carrots. Carrots are always a good thing. But they got spots here for four more people. Just enough stuff to be able to uh, head back to the old ranch. Been an interesting trip though. I don't know why it would possess me to bring the bucket on this trip, but such as it is. Actually, I've got space for another one. I'd be, you know, I'd be kind of sorry to leave right now. I'm kind of enjoying this hike. Oh, here's another guy that's put up a little settlement. He left a calling card, too, it looks like. Well, let's see what he has to say. It's a stone. <sighs> you know, I love the people that play this game, but it needs to be a little more creative with your Stella. <laughs> maybe if you had to actually carve it, you might be more creative. Or maybe not. I hope you enjoyed this segment, and thank you for watching. If you did, please hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Take care, and we'll see you next time.